Here are five simple tips for recording pictures of artifacts in archaeology. Number one, I suggest to start with a camera that can meet or exceed the standards of the imagery that you want to record. You probably will need to invest some of your time to compare different camera models and to experiment with their variable settings. In this way, you can ascertain what a camera is capable of doing for you, and then you can concentrate on maximizing the results that you want to see. Number two, I recommend not to worry too much about the software for processing the cosmetic output of the images. In archaeology documentation, the original and unaltered image is most important for authenticity. A few simple adjustments are acceptable, such as cropping the excess margins of an image without altering the image itself. Number three, I would stress the importance of placing the artifact onto a clean and plain background of a fabric or other uniform substance. The surface and texture should be non-reflective. The color needs to contrast against the artifact that you are documenting while it should be neutral, non-distracting, and less vibrant than the artifact of your focus. I like to use a bland gray cloth for most purposes. In some cases, though, I may need to use a different color for more contrast. Number four, in archaeology documentation, a scale reference is essential. I like to use a standardized scale bar marked in individual centimeters. Depending on the size of the artifact, though, I might need to use a smaller or larger scale bar. The size and position of the scale bar should avoid dominating or interfering with the field of view. Number five, the lighting in your setting is crucial. In my experience, an evenly distributed light without any color filter or effect works best for documenting an artifact. I like to use two simple lamps with diffusers set on tripods that I can move into the positions that can illuminate the details that I want to see in each case. If the preferred equipment is not available for you, then you may need to improvise with whatever you can access. I personally have found myself needing to improvise and adapt when recording artifacts in various circumstances. With knowing about these five simple tips here, I encourage for you to find the technical and creative solutions that work for you. What have you experienced when recording pictures of artifacts? What suggestions and advice would you like to share? Thank you for watching here. I will see you in the next video.